Hey everyone, welcome back where we were testing every single mask on Amazon. This is the place, if that's what you were looking for, which who, who would want that, I don't know. Today we are testing uh, all the American made masks we found on Amazon. And today excited to talk about the, uh, the, the United Sewing Automation, which is a, it's kind of a weird flex. Let's put it in the clamper. Wow, this is the most challenging mask to, that I've had so far. Alrighty, we'll let it rip. This is a PFE machine if you wanna know what that is. Check out the link to learn about particulate filtration efficiency testing. All right, we're looking at the American made, American Strong United Sewing. I love the box. Let's look at the website. We bought this on Amazon, but they have a really cool website. Um, you know, one of these companies that stood up in you know the middle of the pandemic. Ooh, face mask testing, what's this? Oh, here we go, making claims on the website. Bacterial uh, efficiency rated over 95%, 99%. Particulate f filtration over 99%. They're linking to their uh, Nelson Labs report here. And see, there you go, you're gonna see all of these articles. So look, they're testing like 30 and they're all over 99%. Look at that. So let's hope, uh, I mean, that's what, exactly what this machine does here. Uh, we bought them on Amazon, like we said. Um, they're saying ASTM level three, so they are making that claim on here. All right, let's look at the box. Where do these ear loops come from? No one knows. So I like that it's in a uh, bag. It's a white on white mask. Um, it's a very, very soft, soft ear loops. Like I've, these are maybe the softest ear loops I've seen. I love the construction of this. It looks really good. The nose wire is solid. I'm curious how well this uh, ear loop is. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, uh, I, I like to give two good pulls. This is, this is super scientific. Two good Lloyd pulls. Oh, that was a half a pull. And then that's a good mask for me. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Both sides came off. It's not good. Let me see. This, I, I think this might come off. No, no, okay. I'm gonna give it five points on, the, on, on that construction. Okay, okay. Smelling this. Um, I'm gonna call this smell um, an old clue game. You know, it's like you go to the bookshelf, pull off the game with the kids, you're opening it up. You wanna play a game of clue, you open it up. That's what it smells like. It's like a cardboardy smell. It's not horrible. Um, but it is stronger than maybe I'd like to see. Some of the stuff sits on Amazon shelves and you know that can really add to the smell. Um, I'd probably give 15 out of 25 for that. Um, but does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? All right, now let's remember, these guys were making a claim on their website, showing Nelson Lab reports, saying that they were ASTM level three above 99%. So what does it, what does it say? Oof. 91.075, 91.075, that is not great. Um, and in fact, uh, we actually tested this earlier before. Uh, so I actually, I didn't know what this was gonna be. We tested two other ones too, um, because we wanted to give them a fair shake. Um, it could be a bad batch, a bad box, but this is nowhere near, there is no way that that Nelson Lab report that they showed us is accurate. Um, I don't know what happened. It could be that they changed the melt blown. You know, what, 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 the reason we invested in a $100,000 lab here, it's actually probably about twice that at this point, is so that we could test every single batch of our masks. Because it happens, like bad melt blown, something gets in there, something in the process that messes things up. We know that we can pull that and start over. Uh, it's not great. They're not hitting that 99%, not even close. Um, because of that, I wouldn't recommend uh, using this mask personally, just because um, there, it's too much variability. 91% um, is, 90, is well below the American standard, the minimum standard of 95%. So um, anyway, not super happy about that. They seem to be a great company doing the right things, but um, they clearly made some mistakes uh, in, the, uh, in the production process. All right, um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. I appreciate you being here and uh, I will catch you on the next test. Thank you so much.